Okay, folks, welcome to Best Stock Charts for the coming week. And I'm really happy to um, to make this video because something that we've wanted to do for a while now is to transition over to a more engaging uh, platform for our forum. And we're beta testing it right now. We have a bunch of members that have already signed up for what will replace our existing forum, which is really bare bones at current. And we're beta testing slack which i've never used until yesterday and so far the feedback has been good i've been playing with this thing all day long and the functionality seems really great i've been able to uh, post the week ahead commentary in the forum area it's also posted in the blog area i sent it out by email last night i've been able to post uh, charts. I can't do this with my current form, meaning I, I could post a link to a chart, but I can't post a, a, a an image that I can look at and say, that's interesting, and blow it up. And it's like Twitter. So it's really cool. And I could post links from Twitter, etc. on here. Members seem to be enjoying it. I'm getting feedback. We have a link here. Uh, this is the main channel, Stock Market Observations, Slack Feedback. And we're just building it out. I'm getting feedback from other members who use this constantly for their own businesses. So more to come here. Uh, changes are being made. We are raising prices in Q1 of 2021. So please lock in now. Prices do not go up on existing members who joined in 2020. You're in. That never changes. So prices are going up in 2021. And this is a piece of the new functionality that is going to be, it's available now. So uh, join up, look forward to having you. And I would love your feedback on the new channel. Uh, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about how our week was. I'll give you a higher level view of my thoughts on the market. And then we're going to talk about stocks we're watching into the new trading week. And in particular, uh, the, uh, the cybersecurity plays are looking very good. Uh, CrowdSource is our primary. Uh, CyberArk is another name you could look at. If you want to diversify a bit, you could simply buy the ETF, H-A-C-K, hack, appropriately named hack. Another symbol that we're looking at is CNST, Constellation Pharmaceuticals, VNM. That's the Vietnamese ETF. Rocking, I've been talking about that for months. I've been waiting for a major pullback. It just won't come. It just keeps going higher. We're going to talk about that, a strategy for entering. And in fact, there's a thread going on in the new members area now about VNM, my price targets. I have a chart where, I'll show it in a moment, where my uh, alerts are set on TrendSpider. Speaking of TrendSpider, they're, I think they're like in the, still 55% off effective today. So use the link below. They're having that uh, Black Friday sale, early Black Friday sale. The next chart up is going to be TCP Pipeline Partners. And we'll go over all these charts. First, let's talk about, we already covered the new members area, the forum. And now we'll talk about last week. So last week was another week where they kicked off the trading week with another spike, right? Two weeks in a row of Corona vaccines, they're coming, 90% cure rate, 94% effective rate. Now Pfizer comes back, they're 95, they were 90, now they're 90. I mean, there's probably going to be another attempt to spike the market on Monday. I have little doubt about that. The problem is, is that the laws of diminishing returns are occurring here. I mean, you saw a fade the week prior to last, that's the Pfizer week. Last week, this past week, was Moderna week. And you saw a fade last week on the markets. And the close was not wonderful on Friday afternoon. So, in looking at the spike higher last week and knowing how the prior week went with that fade, I said, you know what? We're long of ExxonMobil. Energy stocks are doing very well. We've come a long, long way. We sat through the, uh, the ex-dividend date. We're going to get paid our divvy, 87 cents per share. Let's make some profits real here. We bought all the way down here. 
And we booked half profits in a very large position. That's been half now. But we're going to get a big fat premium in the mail in the next couple of weeks. So love that. Uh, I I still like ExxonMobil. I did not like the news of inventory dr- uh, builds last week. That's a concern. I do not like the fact that yields are dropping yet again. That is not good for the cyclicals. Remember why cyclical, cyclicals rally when yields go up. It's because it's a sign of, of uh, domestic growth, organic growth. We don't have that. Uh, while oil did well last week, I don't know why. I, I, for the life of me, I can't tell you why. You, you, you saw natural gas prices just get absolutely annihilated. So while oil prices still look as though they're going to head up higher, I'm concerned. So fast forward. We book profits, have profits, I should say. In the beginning of the week on ExxonMobil, by the end of the week, we had reversed most of those gains, all those gains, and... First out, best out, man. You, you need to you need to know when the market's getting manipulated. Move to the sidelines when necessary, because when when you see uh, yields drop, you got to look to technology. And I'll be honest with you, even technology faded last week. This is the XLK. They should have done well in a declining interest rate environment. They didn't. You know, take a look at your semis. They close up on the week, but man, they're just barely holding on to support. If they drop down next week, it's all over. So it's going to be a very important week. Seasonality favors stocks this time of year through to December 31st. After that, I don't know, man. We we need to be very, very careful going into the new year. We added to short positions last week. We've been hedged. We added more. We got a little bit more aggressive last week. So I'm not ready yet to go all into the short side at current. But I'll tell you, we're keeping a cash hoard ready just in case. But we don't want to fight seasonality trends at current. I went over this a bit with members yesterday on the weekend commentary. I'm going to post the podcast tomorrow on YouTube and on Google Play, and what was it the other one? iTunes. So if you want to check that out, check that out tomorrow. If you want the full video experience, become a member. 14-day free trial offer. You can't go wrong. Cancel at any time. Fire me. Okay, so those are my thoughts on the market. I'll leave you off with this. Uh, Don't forget, Sunday Night Futures live tomorrow night, folks. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click the notification bell to get notified of when we go live But if you want to not miss a moment of the show, because it's a pretty good show, use the link below. Enter your email address on any one of the email links. There's one link. If you don't want to get anything in the mail other than an alert 15 minutes prior to us going live, click that link. If you're already on our email list, if you're a member, don't re-enter it because you're going to get multiple emails. You're going to get mad at me. I don't want to spam you. All right, so enter your email address on Bob's Five Most Powerful Candlesticks. If you're already on that list, don't enter it. You're going to get alerted prior to us going live. Okay. I hate spamming people. It's a thing I have because I hate spam. All right. So, trip cues. This is a weekly chart. Let's go to the daily chart. This is what I really do not like here. We had a bull trap back here and we flashed yet another bull trap last week. We've been in a uh, somewhat of a de- declining downtrend channel. A consolidation. I don't even want to say downtrend. That's not being fair. And we are short of the triple Qs. We have a hedge on our long portfolio using the triple Qs as a short. Uh, We have broken out in the past only to fail to hold support. We did it once. We did it twice. Friday, third time. Breakout point failure, a.k.a. bull trap. So there are warning flags out there in this market that should cause us some concern. So we're going to go into the week believing that in all probability, given seasonality trends, the Santa Claus effect, the Santa Claus rally, that all is right with the world. However, we're ready to pull the trigger short at any given moment. So more to come, members with alerts. Let's go to our charts that we're watching for the new trading week. First one up is going to be crowdsource. 
I'm just going to go over the weekly charts. I did a deeper dive with members on the weekend commentary. Again, posted in the members area. Okay, so on a weekly time frame, we broke out last week above resistance. Very, very nice. A W formation, higher low on RSI. And it appears as though we're going to break out and validate this breakout on price. So crowdsource, looking very good. If you want to take a look at hack, I haven't taken a look at it yet, but it did pop up on my screener. This will be my first time in a while looking at this chart. All right, so we don't have a breakout here yet per se, but it had a good week last week. You know, if you use the automated trend lines, it's a time saver. Again, link below. What's Trend Spider at now? 50% off a 12-month plan today, folks. And it drops off even lower. It, oh, it ends on the 31st. I think the bottom uh, of their percentage discount has been hit. And it looks like it ends in the next couple of days. Then they have a seven-day free trial offer. It's also included free with our silver and gold level memberships. Trend Spider, free. Or you don't want my membership, that's fine, that hurts, but uh, just use the link below and get 50% off of Trend Spider. Great product. All right, so automated trend lines. You pop up your symbol, hack. This is how we know. Don't touch it quite yet. Click of a button. Bam. There are your resistance levels above in red. Here's your support level in blue. And you can see above we have a couple of other significant resistance levels that we need to respect right now we're kind of in no man's land we are consolidating nicely here if you wanted to scratch the itch i think i'd be fine with opening up a position on hack it looks good crowdsource is already broken out so obviously it's behaving as best of breed cyber arc is another one that has been looking good but crowds strike is looking better i mean we're very close to a breakout point but let's face it crowdstrike already did that so we want to tip our hat to that stock as being in all probability the best of breed and i haven't taken a look at investors.com yet to do my due diligence so I'm just, that's just an assumption but i do know that cyberarch is a very good company i have traded it in the past it's treated this very well so crwd at current appears to be our favorite play so i spoke about a entry plan for crowdsource on the weekend commentary go check it out next chart up cnst now you can see that rsi broke out last week again this is a weekly chart and if you use the automated trend lines pop click of a button we broke out all right so we're looking good here from a long perspective, I think that we are going to head up higher. So Constellation Pharmaceuticals, very nice. Members, more to come on this trade. And again, for a deeper dive, go over to the members area. Check out the daily analysis as well. Vietnam. Okay, I've been pounding the table on Vietnam as a long, ever since COVID hit. I've been saying that there's going to be a supply chain shift. Not only have I been right. I've been very, very right, so right, in fact, that China is now building a wall between them and Vietnam so the talent from China can't go into Vietnam and work. So Vietnam, I've been waiting for a pullback on. I should have taken advantage of it back here in October. I didn't. I was hoping for a bigger pullback. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Uh, we broke out above significant resistance last week. So now I may have to pay up a little bit here. I do have two alerts set. One, you can clearly see here. And two is down here. So when those fire off, or if, if the 1551 fires off, we'll look to open up or add to positions at those levels. The U.S. dollar appears poised to break and break hard. I'll be talking about that chart tomorrow night on Sunday Night Futures Live. So join us. I'm going to be talking about gold, the dollar, and what we should expect going into 2021. I'm already looking at 2021. The books are closing on 2020. So now it's all about positioning for the January effect. What does well in January? Gold, miners, silver. We'll talk about that tomorrow. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
All right, so Vietnam looking very good. We have a breakout on RSI, higher lows, higher highs. Everything's good here. All is right with the world. For the daily chart analysis, go to the members area. And in the there's a thread going in the forum, the Slack forum, regarding VNM and how we plan on trading that. So go check that out. TCP, and that's the value of the forum. That's what I've always wanted. And I think that with Slack, we're going to get to that level. All right, so TCP Pipeline Partners. I'm, I like the setup here. I'm concerned about oil prices and the influence that they have on TC Pipeline. I don't know the correlation yet. I haven't done my due diligence. Going from off the top of my head, I'm willing to bet that there's a pretty tight correlation between oil prices and the TCP Pipelines of the world. So it's a yielder, yields about 8%. This is a master limited partnership, so you may not be able to buy it in a retirement account. So just be forewarned. I guess there's a little bit more risk with these. Uh, but last week, speaking of the technicals, we broke out. Right? Very nice breakout. I have a manually driven line, drawn line here. You don't even need that, really. Automated trend lines did just fine as well. They picked it up. And you take a look at your RSI, higher lows. We've broken out on price uh, on RSI, looking very good here. So again, I do deep more of a deep dive on the weekend commentary posted in the members area. And in closing, folks, please sign up for the 14 day free trial offer. Get Trend Spider for free, or if you don't want to join up, fine. Take advantage of a 50% discount, which is better than my normal discount. I do a lot of business with them. Use the link below and uh, join us tomorrow night. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. Enter your email address in any one of the links below and you get notified 15 minutes to a half hour prior to us going live. Everybody enjoy the remainder of your weekend and I will hopefully talk to you tomorrow night. Be well.